Okay, please say sadhu three times. <coughs> Repeat three times Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa for observing five precepts. Buddhang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Sanghang saranang gachami Dutiyang pi buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyang pi dhangmang saranang gachami Dutiyang pi sanghang saranang gachami Tatiyang pi buddhang saranang gachami Tatiyang pi dhangmang saranang gachami Tatiyang pi sanghang saranang gachami Panati pata veramani sikha padang samadhyami Adinna dana veramani sikha padang samadhyami Kami sumicha chara veramani sikha padang samadhyami Musavada veramani sikha padang samadhyami Sura mere majje pamadatana vere mani sikha padang samadhyami Se sadhu 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 Samantha Chakvali Su Atra Gachantu Divata Saddhammang Munirajas Sunantu Sagmukhadang Dhangma savan kalo ayang bhadang ta 
धमसवन कालो अयं भदंता धमसवन कालो अयं भदंता नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मुद्ध नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सम्मुद्ध भूतंता भोगा भता बच्चा वितिन्ना आपदा सुमे उदंगा दक्षिणा दिन्ना अथो पंच बाली कथा डियर फ्रेंड्स इन धाम now all of you gathered here to listen the buddha's preaching day before yesterday and yesterday many people came to this temple especially for celebrating vesak festival for celebrating vesak you engage many religious activities you practiced tisikka or trisiksha dana generosity sila virtuous or discipline bhavana and meditation so these three practices these three things you practiced two days in this temple and today also you are getting ready especially for listening buddha's teaching today i choose a small stanza for giving this dhamma talk so this is a small sutra a discourses a discourse delivered by buddha so the my topic is how to be a successful lay person how to be a lay practitioner as a buddhist how to be a ideal lay practitioner that is the uniqueness of this topic that i delivered before starting my dhamma talk so you are a lay person you are a lay practitioner you are a buddhist then you have to think how to be a ideal buddhist lay practitioner how to be a real buddhist person to explain that so i chose this small stanza delivered or uttered by buddha to a special person i think all of you know there is a man son named anatha pindika okay he is the the great lay disciple of the buddha he built a monastery It's a very big monastery named Jetavana Rama at Savatthi. When the Buddha was dwelling at Jetavana Rama at Savatthi, so Buddha delivered this discourse to the mansion Anatta Pindika. The name of this sutra is Patta Kamma Sutta. it is in pali the name of this sutra is patta kamma sutta 
So if we translate this, uh, the name, if we translate this into English, we can translate uh, work that is worthwhile. Work that is worthwhile, whatever we have to be done, should be done in right time. Whatever we have to be done, should be done in right time or on right time. That is the simple meaning of this sutra. Okay. So, I will explain in briefly the story why the Buddha delivered this sutra to Anatha Pindika. You know, this attendant or Anatha Pindika every day goes to meet Buddha. After being the Buddha, after offering this big monastery to the Buddha, Buddha lived more than 21 years, more than 21 years at Savati. More than 21 years he lived Jetvana Rama. Every day Anatha Pindika goes to meet the Buddha, early morning he goes and the for the lunch time also he goes, even in the evening also he goes to meet the Buddha and to ask something about the Buddha or discuss something with the Buddha or he want to find how Buddha is like that. Therefore, every day at least three times he goes to meet the Buddha. But hmm, there is a very special thing. There is a very special thing. Every day he meet the Buddha. Every day he talk with the Buddha. He discuss with the Buddha. But never he ask any question from the Buddha. He has never asked any question of the Buddha. Never. Why? There is a reason. He never asked any question from the Buddha. He thinks, Anatha Pindika thinks, the exalted one, our Samma Sambuddha is a Samma Sambuddha, he is a Samma Sambuddha. He comes from Sakyan clan. He is a Samma Sambuddha, he is a fully exalted one. He comes from Sakyan clan. Therefore, our Samma Sambuddha is very tender, very soft one. His skin also very soft. His body also very soft. As a Buddha also very soft, very tender. As a Sakyan clan, Sakyan family person, is very tender, very soft. If I ask any question from our Gautama Samma Sambuddha, he try to answer for my questions and he will be very tired. If he try to answer my questions, he will be very tired. Therefore, as a person, me, it is not good to make him tired. It is not good hmm, to make him tired. That is why he think, he's, he's thinking. Therefore, he never asked any question from the Buddha. But hmm, you know, more than 21 years, our exalted one Gautama Samma Sam Buddha was staying at Savati. I told you, I mentioned you at least three times, at least three times he meet a day, per day. They had many discussions. Discussions means not nonsense, not ruthless words. Whatever they discuss, whatever they talk, everything related to Dhamma, Dhamma discussions. Okay. Their discussion 
were about the Dhamma, not other things, not nonsense. That means Buddha had delivered many Dhamma talks, Buddha delivered many sutras to Anatha Pindika. How our Samma Sambuddha delivered Dhammas to Anatha Pindika? Anatha Pindika goes to meet the Buddha and discuss something uh, and have some discussion between them and Anatha Pindika sat at one side, sits at one side, then he thinks something. He thinks something. Anatha Pindika thinks something. Then our Gautama Samma Sambuddha has the knowledge to see what he is thinking. What he is thinking, he can see because he has the divine eyes and he has the divine ears. He has. Therefore, the, he can understand others' thinking. He can understand, he can see uh, what he is thinking, what are you thinking? But I don't have such kind of knowledge. The Buddha has. Therefore, the whatever Anatha Pindika is thinking, according to his thinking, Buddha answer to his questions. He thinks something. The one day, he went to meet the Buddha and the same thing happened. He sat at one side and he is thinking, I am a lay person. I am a lay person. Not only I am a lay person, I am a mansion of this city. I am leading a uh, the lay life as a lay person as a lay practitioner how about my life whether I am successful or not whether my life is successful or not that is his thinking okay because of this thinking Buddha delivered this Patakama Sutta Okay, that is the reason why Buddha delivered Patakama Sutta to another Pindika. The reason is he is thinking whether my life is successful or not until now. Okay, so then you can understand why I select this topic. You also can think, you can go back to your life. You can go back to your life. Okay. Whether my life is successful or not until now. If there is anything, so you can now think about. You can think about yourself. You can think about your past. If there were any mistakes, if there were any mistakes of your life, from now you can make it correct. If there were any successful things of your life, you can continue it. That is why I select this topic, how to be an ideal lay practitioner as a Buddhist person. But you think this sutra is specially delivered to another Pindika, not for all lay people, but it can apply for all. It can be applied for all lay people, whether our Samma Sambuddha delivered this sutra to Anatha Pindika. So, the, my topic is Bhutta Bhoga Bhata Bhatcha Vidinna Apadasumi Uddagga Dakkina Dinna Ato Pancha Bali Kata. The simple meaning of this is tensa Bhutta Bhoga. Bhoga means wealth. Bhoga means wealth. Bhutta means wealth has been enjoyed. Wealth has been enjoyed. Bata Bacha supported to dependence as a lay practitioner. Okay. Wealth has been enjoyed by whom? By myself. Wealth has been enjoyed by myself. Bata Bacha, Bacha means dependence. Bacha means dependence. 
as a lay person you have to care about your parents you have to care about your children we have to care about you have to support for your relatives we have to support for your friends so you have to support uh, if you have servants they also have to support they are the dependents okay so you have to think supported to the dependents bhutta bhoga bata bacha within na apadasumi if there is any danger come to your life you should have something deposited to choose in dangerous period to use in dangerous period so the buddha has mentioned ekena bhoge bhunjeye dvihi kammam payojeye chatuttanchi nidapeya aapadasu bhavisati whatever we earn we have to divide four parts our wealth we have to divide four parts ekena bhoge bhunjeye the one part of the wealth we can enjoy we can consume dvihi kammam payojeye two parts of we earned so we we can we 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 can uh, uh choose two parts for our uh the f- future works like that if you have any business if you have any business you can choose two parts of your earning for the business for the development of business and the fourth part we have to be deposited in if there is any danger of your life at that time to choose to use okay so according to buddhism according to this sutra buddha mentioned to this anatha pindika bhutta bhoga bhata bachcha vitinna apadasumi the wealth has been enjoyed and the supported supported for the dependents and so you deposited one part for use in for using in danger uddagga dakkina dinna the meaning of uddagga dakkina dinna so we have to give some gifts we have to give we have to give some gift for our departed ones especially for offering arms like that okay so every day you are practicing arms giving especially we transfer merits for our departed ones uddagga dakkina dinna the useful the special arms giving should offer for transferring our departed ones atho panche bali kata and there is five fold offerings have to be made by ourselves five fold offerings that is called panche bali we have to keep five duties by ourselves as a lay practitioner as a lay person okay now you can understand the simple meaning of the stanza wealth has been enjoyed so we earn something as a lay person you have to earn money you have to earn money why you earn money what is the reason you earn for earning money to live happily to live happily not to deposit in the bank but to enjoy the life enjoy the life therefore we have to consume we have to use whatever we earn but it is very clearly mentioned how you should spend money in this sutra okay the simple meaning is this right so the wealth enjoyed has been enjoyed and there are supporters supported them and deposited some parts and have given or have offered have gifted arms for departed ones and have kept five offerings especially it is mentioned panchabali like that okay 
So this is the, uh, the simple meaning of the sutra. So there is another part of this sutra is mentioned. I mentioned you the wealth has been enjoyed. So you have earned money, you consume money, you enjoy money. So Buddha has mentioned to enjoy, to consume or to consume your wealth, which kind of wealth you should have as an ideal person, as a Buddhist person, which kind of wealth you should have, how you earn money. If you want to make successful this life, okay, so now I would like to ask something, the how you understand the successful life, how you understand the successful life. Huh? So you, you may say, you can think, I, my life is very successful, I am a successful person. Huh? What is the criteria? What is the criteria you use to show I am a successful person? How you say? Okay, you can say I have much money. I have much money. I have uh, uh, luxurious vehicles. Then I have uh, the luxurious house. Uh, I have many servants. Huh? Uh, I, 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 I live in happily like that, you can say. I have much money, I have luxurious vehicles, uh, I have uh, good wealth, uh, I have luxurious house, I have servants, many, many things you can say, whatever I can do in this life, I can do, I have anything. Therefore, my life is very successful, you can say. Do you think is it completely successful life? It is not a complete successful life. It is only one part. It is only one part of the life. There is another part of life. To live as a person, as a human being in this world, as a, not only as a lay person, even any person, to live in this world, we need enough money, enough wealth. We need house. We need a house, we need a vehicle, we need money. Without money, we can't do anything. Therefore, we need money, we, we should earn wealth. That is only one part of the life. Okay, that is only one part of the life. Then what is the other part? Our spiritual life. This is worldly life. And the spiritual life, they are both sides of our life. Worldly life and spiritual life. To successful spiritual life, we need wealth, money like that. Okay, that is only one part. The other part is spiritual life. Okay, so the Buddha has mentioned, if you want to make successful worldly life and spiritual life, there are four things to be achieved by a lay person. There are four things achieved by a lay person. If you want to make successful uh, success your life, if you want, you hope, you wish. What you wish? Your wishes are, your wishes are, so the Buddha has mentioned here, bhoga me upajjantu sahadhamme nati itta kanta manapa dullaba lokasmin. That is in Pali. Okay, I repeated the Pali praise which is mentioned in the sutra. Bhoga me upajyantu sahadhamme nati. The gaining of wealth righteously. So I want to earn money. I want to gain money righteously. I wish for. It is agreeable to me. It is desirable to me. But it is very rarely accomplished. I wish, I want money, I want wealth in right yes way. It is agreeable to me. It is desirable to me. It is my wish. But it is too difficult. Okay. It is my wish. 
uh, can our all wishes be accomplished? It is too difficult. But if you want, I want, I wish, I want to earn money righteously, to make my to make success to to have a successful life. That is that is my wish. If you have such kind of wish, if you want to do so, if you want to success your this worldly life, you can do that one. You can do. You can gain the wealth in right yes way. That is your first one. If you want to make your life successful. So the secondly, Buddha mentioned the second point is bhoga me ladda sahadham me na yaso chirang yaso me agachatu sahanyati hi sahupajehi. Having earned wealth righteously, having earned wealth righteously, the fame come to me. That means I, I want to be a famous person. The fame come to me with my parents, with my teachers, with my friends, with my relatives. Now I have gained the wealth righteously. Then my second wish is, I want to be a famous person. I want to be a famous person with my parents, with my friends, with my relatives. Okay, like that you wish. But it is also agreeable thing desirable thing but very rarely to be achieved it's too difficult whether you have money you can't be a famous person you can't be a famous person the most important thing is here i want to be a famous person among my relatives among my friends with my friends I want to be a very acceptable person. Should my friends always appreciate me? My teachers always appreciate me. My friends always appreciate me. Among them, I want to be a famous person. Whether you wish, it is too difficult to be a famous person. That means everyone like. Everyone like. The famous means everyone like to him. Okay, that is the second thing. Whether it is too difficult to achieve, if you want to be an ideal lay person, if you want to be a such kind of person, you can do. You can do it. That is the second thing. And the third point Buddha mentioned in this sutra, having gained wealth righteously, having lived as a lay, as a famous person with your parents, with your friends, with your relatives, the third wishes is, third wishes is, I want to live a long life. I should have a long life span in this world. Bhoga me ladda sahadhamme na yaso me agantwa sahanyati hi sahupajyehi Chirang jivami, I live a long life. Digamayum pale me, I should have a long life spam in this world. Okay. So the according to the Buddha's teaching, so the Buddha has mentioned this life is very short. This life is very short. As a human being, if we live in this world, we can live, if we, if we want to live a long life, it may be a hundred years. If we live in this world, it may be a hundred years. We can't live more than hundred years. Okay, we can't live more than hundred years. Before hundred years, maybe die. If not, you can die hundred years. If not, little bit more. The long life means hundred years. If anyone in this world, he can live 100 years, it is a long life. 
If not, they will die before 100 years. If not, they can live a little more than 100 years. Definitely die. Okay, so this person, he hoped, I want to live a long life. I should have a long life span like that, he think. It is also wish, desirable, agreeable, but it is too difficult to achieve. It's too difficult to live a long life in this world. People can live, but mm, without any sickness, uh, without any sickness, as a healthiest person, too difficult. But if you want to make success your life, if you want, you can do that. You can do that one. You can live a long life. You can have a healthy life. You have a wealthy life and you can have a healthy life. You can live with happily. You can have a very successful life if you want. That is the Buddha's teaching. To lead an ideal person, to be an ideal person, to have a successful life. If you want, you can do that one. That is the third point. Then the last thing Buddha has mentioned. Bhoga me ladda sahadam me na yaso me agatwa sahanyati sahupadji he chiran jivitwa diga mayum paletwa. Sugatin saggang lokang upadjaya jivita paramana. Having gained wealth righteously, having lived as a famous person with relatives and parents and friends, having lived a long life in this world after my death, I will be born in the heaven. That is my last wish. It is also a wish, it is also agreeable. It is also desirable, too difficult to accomplish. Dullaba. Dullaba means it is too difficult, very rarely can achieve. Very rarely can achieve. That means you can understand whether we born in this world as a human being, all the human beings can't make successful their lives. Okay, now I ask you a question. What is this world? What is this world? How you recognize this world? How you clarify, you explain in this world? How you understood this world? What is this world? Okay, then I will ask you a question. Who are you? Who we are? Yes, who we are? So you can say, we are human beings. We are human beings. Then what is this world? This is human world. Why? Because we are living in this world. Therefore, we say this is a human world. It is called in Manusa Loka. In Pali, it is called in Manusa Loka. This is a human world. Is it correct or not? Is it correct or not? I ask you a question. Is it correct or not? Is it correct or not? It is wrong. It is not correct. This is not human world. This is an animal world. If not, this is a world of beings. This is a world of beings. It is the better answer. This is the world of beings. At the very beginning, all the beings were named as beings. There were no human beings. Okay, you go to the Agganya Sutta of Diganikaya. Okay, Diganikaya means long length discourses delivered by Buddha. There are 34 sutras mentioned in Diganikaya. So the Agganya Sutta is mentioned the beginning of the society, not beginning of the world. Beginning of the society. The Buddha has mentioned very clearly, at that time there were no, there were no sun and moon, there were no uh, day and night, there were no trees. Okay. Sato, sato, teva, sanjayanti. Only the beings were there. Therefore, this world is beings' world. 
In this beings world, there are human beings and other animals and many, many beings are there. Many, many beings are there. Then how you say this world belongs to us? This is human world. Then how you say? Huh? This world belongs to me? No, I can't say. This is human. This is the world of beings. Therefore, this world belongs to other beings than the human beings. This world belongs to other beings than the human beings. There are many animals. Many other beings, many, many creatures in this world. Therefore, we can't say this is a human world. Then I ask this question, why? How do you differ human being with other beings? How do you understand, how do you make the difference? What is the difference between human being and other beings? So I want to make clarify, the, how do you understand the life is successful? How to be a successful person? Because I want to mention, whether we are human beings, all the human beings, lie, all are not human beings. Only the figure is there. Only the figure is there. Okay, so we, we can say, oh, this is a human being, this is a human being, this is a human being, this one, this one, this one, like that. We, there we have many uh, names. We have our own name. Therefore, we say we are human beings. How you recognize, how we recognize this is a human? By seeing at the figure. By seeing at the figure, we say this is a human being. By seeing at the figure of other animals, we say, oh, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a lion, uh, uh, this is a buffalo, this is a cat, this is a dog. Like that we say, uh, what is the difference between these? The same things they have, they also have head, we also have head, they also have two eyes, we also have two eyes, we have two ears, they have two ears, they have body, they have two uh, legs, uh, they have two uh, hands, same, same, same. The same things we have, but the figure is different. That is how they we understand. But according to Buddhism, how we understand this is a human being, this is a manusa. So Buddha has mentioned, manasa usanna tata manusa. We have the highest mind. We have a highest mind. That is why we are called human beings or manusa. Then you should understand the difference between the animals and humans. Animals and humans, how do you understand the difference between? Because we, are, we all are living in this world. According to Sanskrit literature, there is a very famous stanza to understand the difference between human beings and other beings in the world. Ahara nidra bhayamai tunancha samanya metat pasubih narana. Dharme hi tesha madiko visheso dharme nahi na pasubhik samana. There are four things similar to all beings in the world. Ahar, food, having food. Nidra, sleeping. Bhaya, fear. Maitunancha, sex or sexual engagement. These four things are Similar for all beings in the world. Not only human beings, other animals also, they have the same things. All beings have food for the living. All beings sleep. All beings have the fear for their life. And all beings have sexual engagement. Then what is the difference between other beings and human beings? If, the, if, these are, if these are similar to us, there is a, a special thing is dharma hitesha madiko vise. So the speciality of human beings, they are living with dhamma. They are living in dhamma, righteous way. Righteously they are living. Dharma nahi na pasubi samana. If you don't have dhamma, if you don't live in, in dhamma, if you kept away dhamma from your life, you are similar to animals. 
you are similar to other beings. Then now you can understand all beings are living in this world. Among the, among the beings, how we recognize these are the human beings. The human beings have the, the speciality of Dhamma. If we away from Dhamma, if we away from Dhamma, we are also similar with other creatures, other beings. Now you can understand whether we were born as human beings, we all are not human beings. Why? Why? If you don't have Dhamma, if you don't live with Dhamma, if you are away from Dhamma, you are similar with other animals. Then how you say my life is successful? Whether you have money? You have money, okay, no problem. You have vehicles, okay. You have luxurious houses. Then how you say I am a successful person because I am, I, I am not living in Dhamma. I have wealth but not earned righteously. I have wealth but not earned righteously. Then how I say I am a successful person? That is why Buddha mentioned to be an ideal lay person, these four things should be achieved, but too difficult, very rarely. But if you want to make successful this life, you can achieve these four things. What? Gain wealth righteously. After gaining wealth righteously, live a long life. Then have a famous person. And after having gained money righteously, uh, have, have lived as a famous person. And... Uh, uh, then uh, live a long life, then after death mm, will be born in the heaven. Okay, so Buddha has mentioned manus, uh, Dulla Bancha Manusatan to be a human being is too difficult thing, very rare one. To be a human being, human person. So if you think so, I was born in this world as a human being, I had wealth righteously. Then I enjoyed my life right this way. I was a famous person with my relatives. I had a long life. After my death, I will be born in the heaven. Then what do you think about your life? What do you think about your life? Whether it is successful or not. If you can be born in the heaven after your death, whether your life is successful or not. You can think, if I can have uh, such kind of life, really my life is very successful. Why? To be a human being is too difficult thing. But I was born as a human being. To have wealth righteously, too difficult. But I had. To be a famous person, too difficult. I was lived in as a famous person. To have a long life, too difficult. I had. To be born in the heaven also too difficult, I can. Then, my this life is very successful. My this life is very successful. As a lay person, this worldly life is very successful. After death, I will be born in the heaven, my next life. Okay. So, in the spiritual life, Next life, also have the success. Okay, my, the worldly successful and spiritual successful, when we see the spiritual successful, is the highest successful is to be a Samma Sambuddha. Okay, in my spiritual life, the success is the highest successful is, highest success is, if I, if I can be a Samma Sambuddha, that is highest. If I can be a Pachyaka Buddha, also highest. At last, if I can be an Arahant, that is the, my successful in spiritual life, it is also too difficult. It is also too difficult. Okay, very rarely, 
very rarely can achieve the supreme bliss of nibbana okay but if you want if you want you can do if you want to be a samma sambuddha you can do if you want to be a pachyaka buddha you can do if you want to be an arahant you can do but it is too difficult it is too difficult but you can do so the buddha mentioned if you want to do such kind of things to make successful your this life and next life you have to be fulfilled you have to be practiced four things without practicing this you can't do anything what you should practice sadha sampada you should have the faith sila sampada you should have the virtuous life chaga sampada you should practice charity panya sampada you should have the wisdom okay if you want to make success your world life and spiritual life these four things you have to be accomplished you have to be accomplished without sadha the sadha is the basic thing sadha is the base you can't do without sadha so the buddha has mentioned there are two kind of sadha amulika sadha and akarvati sadha some people have the faith on the buddha dhamma and sangha but it is not stable it can be changed his faith can be changed in the moment can be changed that is called amulika sadha buddha didn't appreciate that one okay buddha didn't appreciate you know venerable vakkali vakkali had the deep faith on buddha's body he was always looking at buddha wherever he go he always follow the buddha why only he want to see the buddha's figure buddha's body because he is very beautiful he is very nice he don't want to follow the buddha's teaching only want to see the buddha's body then the buddha mention ape hi vakkali vakkali go away why you always follow me what is the use of looking at me what is the use of looking at me this body this is this is filled with many dirties this is a dirty body what is the use of looking at me okay so that that is called amulika sadha it can be changed any time so the buddha didn't appreciate it one if you have akarvati sadha that is uh, the rooted sadha it, it is very stable not change deep sadha on buddha on dhamma on sangha and the 24 qualities of buddha dhamma and sangha okay so you know itipiso bhagava arahan samma sambud like that we worship to our buddha we have that belief our exalted one is like this he has such kind of qualities we worship to dhamma swakhato bhagavata dhammo sandhitu like that we worship to the dhamma we know these qualities are on dhamma we worship to maha sangha supatipanno bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas we know these qualities are on sangha these 24 qualities are on buddha dhamma and sangha my faith is not changed like that okay so it is mentioned in buddhism balava saddo manda panyo mooda pakkham bajati you have faith more that means sometimes you can say you have a good heart okay the if i simply say you have a good heart you have faith manda panyo but you don't have wisdom buddha has mentioned balava saddo manda panyo mooda pakkham bajati you have good heart you have faith you don't have wisdom 
you are a fool. You are a fool, foolish person. Balapanyo mandasaddo, you have wisdom, you are a very wise person, but you don't have the heart, no faith. Kenaatika pakkham bajati. That means the, you are a very cunning person. You are a very cunning person. You have wisdom. Whatever you can do by hook or by crook, you can do anything. You can do anything. You don't need to think others. But however you want to do anything, that means you are a very cunning person. I will say a small story. Small story. It is, it is also mentioned in the Jataka Pali. The one day, the one person went to forest to finding his buffaloes. The, he lost his buffaloes, therefore he went to the forest to finding them. Then he saw there was a very deep pit and there was a, a tiger, the fallen into the pit. Then this person thought, oh, the very innocent one, uh, he, the fallen into the uh, pit, therefore I should help him like that. He brought some uh, ropes like that and then he put to the uh, pit and the tiger took out of the pit. Okay, the long time, maybe seven, uh, maybe seven days like that, he was in the pit, no food. As soon as he took out of the pit, the tiger says, I am very hungry. I was in deep pit for a long time. Now my body also not fit. I can't find any food. I eat you. I eat you. Okay. Then the man says, the, how, you, how you do like that? Because I helped you. I saved your life. How you eat me? The tiger says, nothing to do. Nothing to do. I have to eat you. If not, how I live? I won't eat you. Then they were discussing. And the nearby went one jackal. Okay. He's a very cunning person. Then the one, one fox, okay. Then both of them called to fox. Then he came to here. Then they uh, explained the story, what happened. I came to forest. Then I saw this tiger was in the deep uh, pit. Then I helped him to come out. And then you know, like this, the story said. Then uh, he says, uh, he eat me. Then he is hungry. Like that. Then the, how, how he you know, treat me, how he, how he do like this, like the, the, the story said. Then the fox or jackal thought, oh, the, something unfair happened to the human being. Then want to solve this problem anyhow, want to help the human being like that. He said, oh, this, is, this story is not clear for me, what you say. It is not clear for me. So I want to see both of them you were before. Then you have to jump to the pit again. Then that is how I want to make this <laughs> clarify. Then both of them agreed, the jackal, uh, the, that, that tiger again jumped to the... <laughs> then jackal said, the fox said, okay, now you go, uh, <laughs> you save your life like that, okay. The balava saddo, man, balava panyo manda saddo, he had the wisdom, how to solve this problem, how to save the life of man, human, but he, he it, it didn't think about Tiger again fall in the danger. Okay, that is how he want to. Anyhow, he wanted to solve the problem. He solved the problem. Okay, he wanted to think others. Therefore, Buddha mentioned the wisdom. We should have. We should have. Our, so the Buddha is the person who taught not only the heart, about the wisdom. That is why it is mentioned Maha Karuna and Maha Pajna. Buddha had Maha Karuna. Not differently treat, not differently treat, treat same for any being. Okay, he had the wisdom, the same. Therefore, Buddha mentioned if you want to have a successful life, not only worldly life, if you want to have a spiritual successful life, you should have the faith, Saddha. Then, virtue, seal, 
so i don't want to explain more i don't know uh, how much time i have the now that 910 and 10, 10, uh, 10 more minutes okay right so we should have virtue as a lay person we have to practice at least five precepts at least we have to practice five precepts okay refraining from killing refraining from stealing uh, refraining from sexual misconduct refraining from false speech and refraining from taking intoxicant liquor or drugs like that so at least we have to practice five precepts as a lay person to have a right full life or to have a righteous life to have a successful life as a human being not only human as a ideal laborious person as a ideal laborious person okay the third one buddha mentioned we should practice the charity we have to practice the charity we have to give others so i mentioned i immediately explain you we should have the wisdom so for these things if you have for these things we can have such kind of things okay at the very beginning i mentioned you we have to enjoy by ourselves whatever we earned enjoyed wealth in right yes way okay you can't say i have much money i have enough money lot of money i can enjoy anyway because my money huh so i can say i have a car i have a park i have a car i have a park i park my car there what is the problem for you like that because i i enjoy my money i enjoy my wealth but the buddha mentioned whether you have money or not you have to enjoy it in righteous way attanan sukheti pineti samma sukang pariharanti buddha then the buddha mentioned you can enjoy your wealth in righteous manner in righteous manner not wrong ways you can follow mata pitunan sukheti pineti samma sukang pariharanti not only you enjoy by yourself your wealth in righteous manner you have to feed you have to look after you have to make happy your parents if you can't look after your parent whether you have much money or not it is useless you can say okay i enjoy my wealth but your parents are they are very unhappy then how you say your life is successful mata pitunan sukheti pe if you have a successful life your parents also should be in happy putta dharanan sukheti pe samma sukam pariharanti this is actually also according to buddha it is this discourse delivered to uh, anatha pindika he is a lay person okay mata pitunan sukheti uh, uh, putta dana sukheti pin samman sukam parihanti you have to make happy your wife and children as a husband if you have a successful life your your wife should be very happy with you your children also should be very happy with you that is how successful life mitta machana sukheti pini samma sukam pariharanti even your friends you have to help your friends you have to uh, be with them very happy and then how you have a famous life you how you be a famous person with your friends ignore them ignore them okay i can say i am very famous person in the moon there i am very famous what is the use no one is there huh? i am very famous in america even american president also know me what is the use no friends no relatives even parents don't care me no one care me but i am very famous there what is the use if i will be a famous person i i should have at least to associate friends 
with my relatives if i can live among them with them as a very good person i can be very happy always okay that is why buddha mentioned so whatever we earn we have to do those things so the finally buddha has mentioned we have to so we have to do the five treatments it is mentioned panchabali it is mentioned panchabali atiti bali we have to care our guests some people come to our house we have to care of them nyati bali we have to care our relatives we have to care our relatives pubba peta bali so we have to transfer merits for our departed ones giving arms raja bali we have to pay taxes raja bali means what we whatever we earn if we have to pay taxes to the government we have to pay if you don't pay the taxes it is also not success it is also stealing okay we have to pay taxes devata bali there are some deities who protect us some deities even we have to do something for our deities also that is the thing we have to do so buddha has mentioned you have earned money in right yes way if you spend your money do these things on right time do these things on right time don't late if you want to look after your parents do it whatever need if you want to make any help your friends do it but they want the time later it is useless then you have to repeat by yourself oh i couldn't do that i had to do i couldn't do some things you say later you are very unhappy oh what i say like that why i did so ah huh? why i did so i had to do like this what i spoke what i what i said him i had to say like this okay whatever we say whatever we do whatever we think it should be in right yes way we have to do anything on right time right manner then you can make success your worldly life and spiritual life okay that is how to be a ideal lay buddhist person that is how to have a successful life in this world that is why i mention all the human beings can't make success their life they are human beings okay according to the figure we say but not real human they are similar to other beings in the world so therefore you can think you can understand okay so my time is finished very uh, simply and immediately shortly i had to explain if not <laughs> Uh, to finish this dhamma talk uh, so i need i think at least two two more hours okay so okay no problem, no matter so if you have time later we can uh, discuss something uh, so now if you have any question you can ask about this dhamma talk yes actually the, the if, if we, when we consider this sutra especially for the person who have much money okay others also buddha has mentioned actually they should also think how they managed in the, the in the simple life okay now you know uh, the mostly now nowadays we have the urban poor urban poor we are living in the city but many are poor why they need much money 
they have to pay their uh, house rent they have to buy everything have to buy everything need much money but in the farmers if they are living in the village their life is very simple their life is very simple therefore actually buddha didn't mention much things about their lives okay that is why i mentioned the simple word is urban poor you know in the city people are very poor because they need much money than the farmers or simple people living in the city they don't need handphones uh, they don't need gas uh, sometimes they don't need light they don't need uh, no much luxury they don't need luxurious life actually especially the problem comes for a luxurious people the farmers also no problem i think okay so they have they don't have much uh, wishes much wishes they don't have they earn something they lead their day to day life uh, that's how they live actually i think that is why then when we pay our attention the most of the sutras especially for uh, at that time would the mention not for the farmers but for the uh the business business people like that yes city people sorry not clear for me yes yes actually the, the so the buddha mention uh, the, the you you ask kings yes world beings no what he meant was no no not clear in the sutras when we notice when we read the sutras the buddha always refers to or make reference to a king or a businessman yeah Uh, yeah 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 a- a- actually it is it is very simple okay so normally you know many sutras when we consider most of the time buddha addresses buddha address monks bhikkhus okay so uh, so the, here there are many okay there are many sometimes i i always uh, the, uh, talk something i if i want to say something to you, uh, because i know the uh miss leslie's name i say or miss leslie like that and i ask like okay because i want to address to all of you but the uh, the person who is in the uh, in that assemble would the most of the time focus the his attention to but uh, he want to address one but to all he address okay so like here now 3 4 3 5 6 7 8 okay no i i talk miss lesley like that but i want to give the message to all of you like that okay sometimes in the class also the same if there is any brilliant student the teacher always pay the attention to him and the very lazy students maybe so always uh, pay the attention to that student like that but he want she want to give the message to all like that the major person in the assembly he addressed <laughs> but give the message to all okay any question so one day so it is it is uh, right for as a lay practitioner a lay lay do this so if i able to make my well righteous which mean avoid all those illegal way yes illegal yeah but is it okay i am always contemplating so uh, not say last word material wise just as you say we should one part come to own self yes so we should love ourselves we should provide things for ourselves do you think it is okay so i once i learn buddhism so i have this problem you have the problem No 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 it, it is yeah uh, yeah yeah it, it is okay i will tell you one story <laughs> okay <laughs> uh this is how uh 
So you, you say, I don't spend much money. No need to spend much. Okay. So whatever you want, whatever you need, you can spend that money. Okay. If you don't spend the money, if you don't enjoy money, okay, if you live without enjoying the money, how you look after others, you can't do. Therefore, Buddha mentioned, you can enjoy whatever you earn, you can enjoy yourself. No need to spend much. Okay. No need to spend much. I, I, I will say you like this. Uh, okay. Uh, this light. Okay. Uh, this light. So, I pay for the light bill. I, 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 I am the person who build the uh, light bill. Therefore, uh, I won't have much light because I pay. I pay. Huh? Then the others like that. I earn money. I enjoy then the others. Okay, no need like that. You you have much money, lot of money. No need to spend a lot. Okay, so you mean you, you don't spend much? Is it okay or not like that? You ask no. Um, just for example, I want to buy a car. Yes. I have a car. Yes. Simple life, is, that, is the, that is the thing Buddha mentioned. It's better to lead a simple life. Okay, so you have to do many things. But as a lay person, you have to do many things. You earn money, you live happily, and you have to keep many things. You have to look after friends, you have to look after parents, you have to help your servants also. Okay, and you have to do the social activities. Many things you have to do. And that is why I mentioned, you have to pay the taxes. Uh, there are deities who protect us. Even we have to do something for them also. And uh, we have our relatives departed. And we have to do something for them also. If we can do all these things, okay, we have a lot of money, much money. No need to spend all. No need to spend all. But I say one story, okay. There was one person in the forest. Uh, the, he killed and uh, killed a deer. Okay, he killed a deer and he put his uh, on his back and he was uh, taking to his house. And then on the way to his house, there is a very big deer on the shoulder, and he saw another uh, what is called another bow. Okay, wild bow. Then the two wild bow also he uh, shot to death, and he used his uh, arrow and uh, shot to death. And then the wild bow also died. And there is another uh, deer also on the shoulder. But immediately that wild bow didn't die. Okay, When the arrow hit his body, he saw where this arrow came. Then he saw, ah, that person hit me like that. Then immediately came to that person, he hit by his sharpened tooth to that person. Then that person also died. Okay. Then the human being died. There was a dead uh, deer and the wild bull also died. That human being fallen down on a serpent's body. And the serpents also died. Now how many dead bodies are there? Serpent, deer, wild bull and human being. And the one jackal was looking at, the, at that <laughs> Uh, person, oh, he immediately came. Oh, uh, very big, uh, uh, the very big food. The human being died, and the deer died, wild boar died, and the serpent also died. He thinks like this. Okay, this is also mentioned in Jataki story. Okay, <laughs> mentioned in Jataki story. Then he thinks. Eka masa naro yati, dwau masa vruga sukara, ahire eka dinang yati, adje bakshe danuruguna. Eka masa naro yati, if I eat this human being, it is enough for one month. If I eat this deer, also enough for one month. If I eat this wild boar, also enough for one month. Now, we, he has the food for three months. Oh, then he look at around, oh, there is a serpent died. Ah, if I this serpent, it is enough for one day. Then he has a lot of food 
for three months and one day enough. Then he look around. Oh, there is the bow. There is a bow and the arrow. And then he thinks that a string also, the, uh, the, the, the string of the bow has prepared by some skin of the animal. Skin of the animal. He thinks, oh, just for today I eat this like that. He eat that <laughs> string made by the skin of an animal. What happened? What happened? That the bow just hit his neck. The fox also died. <laughs> without, without eating like that. Okay. So, some people are like that. Without eating, without having, they have much things. No spent, don't do anything, don't give others, even he don't eat like that. Some people are living, but you are not like that. Okay, you enjoy by yourself, you do a lot of social activities, you, uh, you, do, you keep your duties, uh, you look after your pay if you have parents and uh, your children. Many things you are doing, you are doing a lot of meritorious things, no need to spend all. Okay, that is the successful life actually, living in simple way. Living in sin. That is why Buddha mentioned, Atanam sukheti pineti samma sukam pariharanti. You enjoy by yourself in righteous manner. Righteous way. That is how to be a righteous person. Yeah, any question? <laughs> okay, then we can stop our Dhamma. Talk. Uh, I think nearly half an uh, half an hour. You listen this dhamma talk. Uh, you accumulated much merit. Actually, this time I should thankful to our uh, organizing committee, especially the chairman of this committee, uh, our Mr. Tilak uh, Leslie, uh, Mr. Tilak Leslie, and our uh, incumbent Tero. Uh, they are the uh, responsible people who invited us to come here and always they are helping you to have a good life because without them actually they, they are the Kalyan with the very best friends okay for uh, guiding you uh, then uh, then uh, appreciating them and thanking them uh, today you listen uh, Dhamma talk and you accumulate much merit first of all we transfer these merits to our uh, departed ones uh, they, they enjoy their uh, realms, their lives, and they be happy and they achieve Nibbana uh, in their uh, sansara. And uh, we transfer this marriage to our uh, deities who protect us. They must also be happy and enjoy their, their abodes and they protect us. And the finally, so we can enjoy, we can rejoice the merits done by ourselves and we transfer, especially we wish uh, Mr. Tilak Leslie and organizing committee members and our Nayaka Teros and to all of you and your uh, relatives, parents, friends and uh, whatever you have to remember to keep in mind. So we transfer this merits and to we have a, a healthy and wealthy life, uh, then the long life and uh, finally, uh, we have, we, we achieve the final bliss of, final, uh, finally we achieve the supreme bliss of Nibbana, Se, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Okay, we transfer this merit to again to our deities. Aka, Satha, Chabumata, Deva, Naga, Mahidika, Punyantang, Anumoditva, Chirang, Rakhantu, Sasanam, Chirang, Rakhantu, Desanam, Chirang, Rakhantu, Ang, Sada, Devo, Vasatu, Kalena, Sasa, Sampati, Hotu, Che, Pito, Bhavatu, Loko, Che, Raja, Bhavatu, Dhammi, Ko, Sukhi, Hotu, may the triple gem bless of you.